Johnny guys, and today we're talking about the Foxier Predator V4 Nano. Now the Predator had long been the dominant force in racing cameras for a long time. Um, in my opinion, it was head and shoulders above the other very popular series, which was the Micro Swift. Um, but the issue with the Predators uh, throughout those years were I felt like you get a better, a better image, very low latency, but the lens sat so proud. It sat a, a good two or three millimeters further out. It protruded more um, that you were much more prone to crashing them. And Fox here, for some reason, insisted on manufacturing those micro cases out of paper mache. If you even sneezed on one, much less actually crash or anything, it was bound to tear almost immediately. Uh, immediately, guys. Those I, I, cr I tore, cracked, broke. I don't know how many of those Predator cases. They were just straight garbage. But they have remedied a lot of that with the nano case design. It feels much stronger, but the lens does still protrude a bit. So you can see on this Floss 3 frame, I printed this uh, fixed angle mount that does have some camera protection, but because it sits a few millimeters taller out, um, it is a little bit more exposed than I like. I think in, if you hit a, a gate directly head on, it would smash the lens of this camera. However, there are frames uh, out there like this, which is the Fusion Frames Fusion designed by Mayday. He actually has two camera holes in there, one specifically made for a Predator lens length. So that would bring the lens within your protection here. So keep in mind, if you are planning on running this Predator V4 camera, you may want to do it on a frame like this, but I wanted to put it through some paces on, a, on one that only was meant for this size thing. But with the availability of prints out there, you could probably find a camera holder uh, that would work and seat the camera just a little bit further back. Now let's get onto the image. That's what we really want to know about. The image on this thing is really, really good. Uh, all of a sudden I was reminded about how dominant the Predator has been for years. And it wasn't, if it wasn't for their, you know, cases cracking so easily in the high cost, I probably would have been flying them today, but I've been on an all run cam diet now for some time. And I'm really, really liking this run cam Vanover edition camera here. I'm really liking this Runcam Racer 3, and I've also been flying the Runcam Racer Nano and a bunch of other quads, and those have been great, but the colors, the low latency, the image, the field of view, everything about this Predator Nano is really geared towards a racer's um, preferences. So I'll show you the three of these cameras and you can decide which one you like. I think it really is going to come down to um, your preference in the color palette, your preference in the field of view. The latency on all of these now is so low that they're totally usable for racing any of these. Uh, one thing I will give the nod to Fox here for is they have not the they have the connector that are on the little wires like this both the camera connector and this little uh, camera controller connector that allows you to adjust the color settings in here now because of this i was able to connect my little controller and turn off all of the super garbage annoying osd things that are defaulted on a lot of these other cameras these run cams don't seem to have this the only one that does is the racer nano because it also has a harness that comes out of there it doesn't have the little connector that plugs in at the, at the camera it has a little harness that comes off these don't have that and because on all my builds in order to make them universally accepting of any camera connector I always buy the three pin connectors separately and use those on my builds. It's the only way to make sure that your camera or that your quad can accept any camera if you happen to switch later on. And because of that, 
you can easily turn the font off on these. Not so easily with the run cam. So in all my run cam footage, you have the stupid garbage, 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 garbage. How many more times do I have to say it? Default font that's on there. It's annoying to have to turn it off. Um, there's no easy way to do it unless you solder up a dummy flight controller board and solder in one of those connectors that ships with the camera. And I used to do that, but they kept varying the connector so much that you almost had to re-solder that connector every time you got a new camera because they are all different. They don't fit. They have pins in the different places. Ah, okay in rant so fox here gets a big thumbs up on that they did default it on but at least it was easy to turn it off if guys just turn them all off every camera manufacturer caddx run cam fox here default those osd garbage settings off for the love of pete come on um now let's get to the footage thanks guys dylan You son of a bitch.